CNN is exclusively reporting that the FBI gathered intelligence last summer suggesting that Russian operatives tried to use Trump advisors, including Carter Page, to infiltrate the Trump campaign. This, according to U.S. officials who made clear they don't know whether Page was aware that the Russians may have been using him. Because of how Russian spy services operate, Page could have unknowingly talked with Russian agents. Page has repeatedly denied any impropriety. He's a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy and worked as an investment banker in New York, London, and Moscow. He was also an advisor to the Russian energy giant Gazprom and joins me now. Thanks so much for being here. Do you care whether Russians helped elect Donald Trump? Michael, what I care most about are these steps that were taken to infringe upon my privacy uh, illegally. So that has really been my main concern. So I know. But Carter, having watched several interviews done with you and read a great deal about the case, it strikes me that you are dismissive of this entire investigation and the prospect of Russians having hacked or attempted to hack the DNC server and played a role in our election. And the question I most want to ask you, I mean, you graduated from the Naval Academy. You've worn the uniform of your country. Doesn't this bother you? Don't you want to get to the bottom of it? Michael, to be honest with you, what bothers me the most is the severe dishonesty. And now, potentially with the FISA court action, false evidence, which is obstruction of justice by definition. So that, to me, is my biggest concern. And if there was any meddling in the election, all of the false narrative that has been out there is really the ultimate meddling, if you look at the by comparison but I'm, I'm, overall but Carter, impact. Carter, unless, Carter, unless you tell me, hell yes, that would be bothersome, which I think is a simple answer. I'm going to assume that Carter Page frankly doesn't care if there was a black hand in the election of Donald Trump. I care about the negative hands that were all over this thing. And all of the, you talk about uh, propaganda and also meddling in the election. In each of those cases, there was significant steps that have hurt the Trump campaign last year and have continued to be a cloud over the new administration and really have had serious national security implications for the, the new administration and really put our nation I would at think, risk. That's the biggest concern, I would to be think, honest with you. Okay, and I, and I would think, I would think, you know, it used to be that political dissent stopped at our borders. I would think that Carter Page would want it known. I mean, I know you, you have strong feelings about how you've been cast as public enemy number one and there are things you want people to know. I would think first and foremost, you'd want them to know you're a patriot, you're an America first guy and let the parties and the candidates be damned. And if it turns out that the Russians interfered in our election, that would bother you. That's a layup. Why not take that overture? If that were the case, Michael, and there was uh, in, indisputable evidence that that was the case, then I would be totally behind it. But there are certain questions I have, frankly speaking, um, just reading that report two weeks before Inauguration Day, I might add, that makes me wonder whether this was really just a political stunt. And we've seen that looking back at the history of um, political intelligence operations going back many decades. So I wouldn't, Let's, um, I'm, I don't have a f uh, final answer on that. But again, I think the bigger meddling in the election was what was done against me and potentially others in the you're here, year. you're here in part to respond. You're here in part to respond to this, this brand new CNN story that, that broke last night with Wolf Blitzer. Let me ask the direct question. Are you aware of attempts by Russians to use you to infiltrate the Trump campaign? Well, the beauty of that report, and I, that really is breaking news, and I was so excited to read it. Uh, Russia tried to use Trump advisors to infiltrate the campaign. Now, remember the headlines for many, many months. They, uh, the Trump campaign colluded or there was nefarious things going on. Now they're really reeling things back. And, you know, someone is saying out there the word tried, right? And I've certainly seen a lot of tries going back for much of the last year, trying to put in false narratives uh, over many, many months. So there certainly were, were many tries. And I think the dodgy dossier is the ultimate, at least from what we know thus far, the ultimate try and uh, swing and a miss thus far. But we'll see what happens. Okay. Again, it's early days in this. 
are you aware of their efforts at using you to get into the Trump campaign? That's my direct question. I was never, nothing I was ever asked to do or no information I was ever asked for was anything beyond what you could see on CNN. There's great, rep uh, great depth of reporting, great information. Nothing I ever talked about with any Russian official extends beyond that publicly available immaterial information, Michael. Ha you surely have considered the idea that unwittingly you were used by the Russians. I imagine you've gone back and reviewed in your mind, your notes, et cetera, all of your contacts in the last uh, 24 months. What of that possibility? Michael, the only unwitting element that I'm most concerned about is the unwitting media and the unwitting members of Congress that really took, took on this uh, dodgy dossier and can actually read it into the congressional record and potentially members of the uh, government uh, last year that were using this as part of a domestic political intelligence operation. So that to me is, there's certainly a lot of unwitting actions that were done last year. So let's see how things come out as we get more evidence. Again, there's been plenty of Carter leaking and lying, but we'll see how this all plays out. I, I under, and look, you're, you're presumed innocent of, of anything. You haven't been charged with anything, but we're all cognizant of the fact, and, and you may disagree with this, that a FISA court found there was probable cause of you having committed a crime, presumably in cahoots with Russian authorities. First of all, well, a preliminary question. Do you, do you dispute the reports that you were subject of surveillance pursuant to a FISA warrant? Well, that is really interesting information, and I'm deeply appreciative of the people that leaked that. Now, there's a lot of felonies and potential felonies related to the things that were done against me. But that information that you just cited, Michael, that, by definition, that leak is a felony. You're not supposed to be talking about that. And in terms of the FISA court and approval by the FISA court, if you just look at some of the statistics, I don't have the data in front of me, but there has been a, a pretty limited number of uh, or submissions to the FISA court which were rejected in the year 2016. And I think that data just came out. I don't have the numbers on the tip of my tongue, but there's quite a, um, quite a track record of approving most well, what which comes evidence, through there. What evidence do you believe a FISA court judge would have reviewed to come to a conclusion that there was strong case, probable cause, that you committed a crime? Surely there was something. That is a beautiful question, Michael. There is no possibility of probable cause. However, as we know, going back to the dodgy dossier and all the, t all the times this was uh, put out in the media by certain political operatives last year, there's certainly a lot of potential basis. And again, there have been recent reports that I'm very grateful for that, yes, the dodgy dossier was indeed a element which was used in that warrant. And so that'll be really interesting. And that's why I'm so excited about my Privacy Act um, lawsuit that we'll be moving forward with and the information that that disclosure will provide. So the, uh, a, lot of, a lot of general ideas which have been thrown around broadly, but what we're getting into now is real facts. And I can't wait to see some of those specifics that were put into the public record on me. Carter, I don't know what the finding on probable cause would have consisted of, but it does occur to me that the FBI, and I want you to respond to this as a final question, that the FBI would probably have been derelict in its duty if they were not paying close attention to you. You were on their radar screen in 2013. You gave the speech overseas that was very uh, pro-Russian, anti-Western viewpoint. You were advising in an informal capacity a presidential candidate of the United States. You met with the Russian ambassador at some point during the Republican convention uh, in Cleveland. I mean, put those things together. You would at least acknowledge that it's the job of the FBI to wonder and to investigate, hmm, what's going on with this individual? Well, there, there's always, I, I'm open to wondering, right? However, the basis, you mentioned the 2013 and the case that was filed in 2015. I was supporting, I, I was asked to give information, I provided information. 
So I did nothing wrong in that case, right? So there's meeting with the ambassador and I didn't actually spend any time with him. I said hello to him. That, there's no probable cause there. And so again, going back to the recent reporting, which I'm so appreciative of, that the dodgy dossier was the main, or one of the main elements that was used in this process, that to me is very encouraging and I look forward to that full disclosure. So that'll be great to see over time. Carter Page, thank you for being here. Thank you, Michael.